The process of transferring a work of literature onto a cinematic medium is not an easy one. More often than not, movie adaptations fail to make both readers and moviegoers happy. The Godfather, on the other hand, is one of the few exceptions, but it isn't the only one. Showcase's Ali Jan Pamir brings us a selection of other highly acclaimed feature films that lived up to the grandeur of the original. Of a grand romantic age giving way to a new and violent order. At a time when celebrated Russian author Boris Pasternak's novel Dr. Zhivago was having publishing problems back in its homeland, Tinseltown was already on a mission to help introduce it to the rest of the world. Director David Lean's use of wide angle lenses, combined with the operatic acting style of its thespian heavy cast, helped literary epic storytelling become fashionable again at a time when conventional Hollywood narrative was on its way out. The majesty of love. How do we know Frodo is alive? Movie studios have been eyeing British author J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings fantasy books for decades. But it was small-scale independent genre company New Line who ended up realizing the massive project. The three films that formed the trilogy went on to win a total of 11 Academy Awards and also paved the way for fantasy cinema to be taken seriously as high art. I cannot protect you anymore. To get back to his wife and kids, Ulysses Everett McGill will do anything. One of the biggest surprises in the history of movie adaptations came about when directing duo, the Cohn brothers, decided to bring the ancient Greek poem The Odyssey to the big screen. To the shock of the literary world, the award-winning siblings set the epic story in Depression-era Deep South USA. The feature was a hit internationally, and as a result, O Brother, Where Art Thou helped in deconstructing the conventional adaptation approach. Oh, George, not the livestock. Vivid scenes from the novel become unforgettable on the screen. The Walt Disney Company had been dabbling in live-action features long before bringing 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to the screen. But it was with this Jules Verne adaptation that the company proved it could crank out prestige literary productions. Under the personal tutelage of Walt Disney himself, stars Kirk Douglas and James Mason helped the sci-fi epic reach Oscar glory, as well as critical acclaim. And his brisket of blowfish with C-squared dressing, basted in barnacles. <clears throat> and now, happily, To Kill a Mockingbird becomes a motion picture. And Few films have touched a movie going eye. public's heart and mind, the way To Kill a Mockingbird did. Based on Harper Lee's novel of the same name, this Gregory Peck star vehicle has been lauded for ably channeling the book's essential theme of social conscience. To this day, it's hailed as one of the very best of the page-to-screen adaptations. Yeah, stinking cow! 